Hi guys, so I'm continuing on to do my elf haul, my mini elf haul. Um, I just did a drugstore haul. <clears throat> And uh, I have a, a big order coming from e.l.f., but I just decided to do this mini haul. It's mainly just brushes and um, a little review. Um, but I forgot to mention in the drugstore haul that I um, had gotten these Broadway Real Life nails. And um, I have to say, I was really skeptical, but I saw someone on YouTube wearing them. And so I decided to give them a try for $6.99. Um, and look how cute they are. They're short length and they just have a little design right there, a little star design. But they were so easy to apply and um, they're just really cute and I love them. So I'll let you know how those go, how long they last. They're supposed to last like a week. But anyways, I really liked them for $6.99 and I also found them a little bit cheaper on eBay. So. Um, and anything um, that um, anything on my haul that if you want to know anything more about or you want me to do a review on, just post it and let me know, and I'm happy to do a review. Um, but I'm gonna tell you as much as I can with the products that I've already been using. So I'll start out with the brushes. Um, I have a bunch of brushes that I got from Elf. Um, so I'll start with. Or actually, sorry, this is my Mac stippling one. I actually have a elf one coming, um, two of them. So I'll do that one with my next haul. Um, I'll start with my favorite powder brush, elf powder brush, and this is the, uh, you know, flat top, round, and this is just good for. Um, blending. I wouldn't use it for as a foundation brush. Um, I usually uh, use the stippling brush and then after maybe kind of get an extra because it's really like dense and I hear that you can get foundation stuck at the bottom so that's not the best thing to do. So and then I have the e.l.f. Um, Total face, face Brush and so this one's pretty soft and it's just good for an all over, um, or even for a uh, blush. So this is a nice one to have, and this is from the dollar line. Um, this is the studio line, so it was $3, but um, if you get the 50% off coupon, and definitely wait until they have coupons available, um, and they'll like sign up for their email list, and they'll send you when those go on sale, because they always do and you know why pay double when you can pay half and just wait a little while um, or just go to retail me not and you know search for elf and uh, you know they'll tell you which ones it's usually studio 50 or studio 52 which is going on right now until the 30th so you might want to hop on that because things are going quickly um, so anyways, I got um, this e.l.f. eyelash curler, which at first I didn't really like because this um, little sponge thing popped out and it was really hard to stay in. It didn't really stay in very well, so like it was just coming out, but I kind of got it to stay, so I think it's okay. Um, and it's a little bulky down here at the bottom, so it's kind of hard to place it in my makeup area. So, um, And then I, I have a blending brush, which I think is pretty good. I don't know, some people don't really like it. And this is from the dollar line, so I don't think you can really go wrong with it. And it's just a good blending, um, blending eye brush on the side. And good for the corners, so... I like that brush. Um, here's a smudge brush, smudge eye brush, and um, it's a, just a dense smudge brush, typical. Um, I haven't really used it yet, but I think it's pretty good. And also, just a bunch of other eye brushes. This one's really weird. This one is a smudge brush as well, and it's from the dollar line. It's really short. I don't know. Like, if you press too hard, you're gonna get the metal on your eye. And, ouch. 
So, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I could do without that one. Um, I also got the defining eye brush, and I think this one's good for packing on um, eyeshadow into the crease and stuff. My daughter is sticking things under the door. Okay, so that one's okay. Here's a lip brush, which I'm not a big fan of. Well, I'm not a big fan of lip brushes in general. I don't really use them, <clears throat> but if you have like a, a pot of lipstick, then I guess you'd need to use it. This one isn't, I don't know, it's kind of flimsy, so I don't really know what you need in a uh, lipstick brush. Also, plain um, eyeshadow brush. This one's good. I usually use this, and it packs on makeup pretty good. And this is the dollar line as well, so... It's pretty good. Okay, I was looking for a really good fan brush, and this is from the Dollar Line, um, because I also had a fan brush that I just got um, on eBay, and this one, and it's really stiff, so I just wanted one that was good for highlighting. Um, and this one's just kind of too big and fluffy and everywhere, and it doesn't really, I don't know. It's not really doing what I want it to do. I end up using um, the e.l.f. bronzing brush for that because it's just easier to just get. And it, this one's the angled one, so I like that one better for this. Fan brush, just not a fan of. Um, the concealer brush. Honey, you might want to check on Coco. She's putting money under the, I don't know whose wallet she got to. So um, this is the foundation brush. And I don't know, a lot of people have said that they don't really like it. Um, I think it works pretty good. <clears throat> I don't really have a huge problem with it. I think it it's good when you pat. And I um, have been using the uh, Tone Correcting Concealer, which looks like this. And I'll put that over my little dark spots that I told you I have. And then um, I'll just pat it gently into wherever I need it, and like on my forehead. Um, I really like this Tone Correcting Concealer. And this one I think was a dollar, so it's upside down. So, I really like that. The eye primer, eyelid primer, I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little watery. So, I don't really use it all that much. I rather use my Sally Hansen. Um, this one. But, anyway, so I like the foundation brush. This is a little concealer. Um, oh, no, this is an eyeliner brush. Oh, <laughs> didn't even know that. So this is weird because it's just a flat, flat top one. Um, I guess I could see how it works. I don't really use any cream liners, but um, I think this would be a good uh, little correcting brush. And then the mascara wand. Um, this is good after you put on your mascara. Um, to then go through and, um, you know, it just kind of brushes them through and makes them, you know, not so clumpy. So that's kind of nice to have. And then I also, I always set my eyebrows with a clear gel, so um, this is cool to have. Um, I usually like the ones that curve, but this one is just straight. But for a dollar, you know, it's great to have. Um, and another one of my favorites is the Eyebrow Kit in Dark from e.l.f. And, yeah, it's the dark one. And they are, um, I usually just take my, um, my angled brush and put a little on my hand put a little on my hand and then and like get it all over and then 
put it on my eyebrows. So that works good. I like that. Um, I haven't used this um, quad yet. It's a brightening eye color quad and it's gray smoky eyed one. Um, I haven't used it yet like I said but let me see with pigments like mm, pigment isn't really that good. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it depends how you use it. Okay. This is the uh, Radiance Flusher, and this is in Flushed. And I like it, it's really bright, it's very pigmented, so you really have to use just a light amount. But what I don't like about it is it's almost impossible to open. It's like, ugh, trying to, it's supposed to slide. And then if you press too hard, you're going to slide against the blush, which, I don't know. I don't really like it. I would rather have it in this kind of um, packaging where you can just open it up, which I order more. So, um, And then the last thing is the primer. Um, a lot of people have been raving about it, so um, I've used it a couple times. I think I just put too much on, but... Now it just goes on clear. It's a little bit oily for me. I have oily skin a little bit, so I think it might be a little too oily, or maybe I just need to use it sparingly. So that is pretty much all for my e.l.f. mini e.l.f. haul right now. Um, like I said, I'm going to have a huge e.l.f. haul coming um, this week with my 52% off studio. Um, stuff. So I got a bunch of that and like I said the uh, e.l.f. sale is going on right now until June 30th so you might want to hop on that. Um, it, the code is STUDIO52 uh, and you it, there's no limit. Like usually they'll put a limit on how much you can get off. There's no limit. So um, it really is half off everything. So get it now um, before they run out. And anyways so that's pretty much it and if you want me to do any reviews on anything just let me know and I will um, or any tutorials I'm happy to do it so thanks a lot oh, the airplane okay thanks guys bye